Hello and welcome to day 17 of 100 Days of Tonalism. This is your resident painter, M. Francis McCarthy, and the study that I did uh, today is of a, a painting by Camille Corot, and uh, unfortunately I do not know the title of his painting, uh, so I've just referred to it as Landscape. Um, Camille Corot is a uh, very influential painter. Um, in the 1800s, he was not a tonalist. Uh, in fact, he wasn't exactly even in Barbizon school. He was really in a class of his own. But <clears throat> he revolutionized landscape painting in many ways. And uh, to me, one of the formative ways he did that was by the way that he could get atmosphere into his uh, tree shapes. I've actually had the good fortune to see his work uh, in real life at the Louvre in um, Paris, and uh, I've got to say it's totally worth it. Um, the reason why I've covered several uh, Camille Perrault's in this uh, series, even though he wasn't a tonalist, is because his work is so formative uh, to the uh, atmospheric quality that's inherent in tonalism that um, I felt uh, very comfortable including, I think it's a maybe three or even four of his pieces. Um, I did remove the figures from all of his works uh, just because uh, I'm ornery like that and uh, I didn't really want to um, include them. So, sorry if uh, that bothers anyone, but uh, you can always refer to the originals. There's plenty of uh, Camille Corot's work online. I'm going to read a little brief synopsis uh, biography of him uh, that I found here online and uh, just so you kind of know who he is. Uh, Camille Corot was an influential 19th century French painter who is best known for his landscape paintings. His artistic style inspired many Impressionists and many tonalists, I have to say. Born in Paris, France in 1796, Camille Corot's prosperous family gave him the money he needed to pursue his passion for painting. Though it took some time before Corot was a success, by the 1950s his work was extremely popular, um, which took quite a while if you consider he was born in 1796. Uh, that really took him a while to catch on. Um, he is known for his landscape paintings and for an artistic style that inspired many Impressionists. Corot painted more than 3,000 pictures during his career. He died in Paris in 1875, so tonalism was just getting underway about the time he, he passed on. I believe uh, I've uh, come across another source online that said uh, Vanessa's exposure to his work was in the 1850s and it had a dramatic effect on his work. It's apparent if you follow uh, the chronology of Vanessa's work, uh, the impact that Corot had on him. Um, like, uh, this is a very short video. Uh, this painting just came together very quickly. It's quite simple and it's really all about the light and air. So, Thank you for joining me for day 17. I really appreciate you following uh, the blog and uh, these videos. And uh, come back tomorrow for day 18. Meanwhile, stay out of trouble and take good care.